So the world's been a bit depressing recently. This huge pussy has gone full soy Hitler in Canada and started beating and killing his own civilians because they disagreed with him. It's sad to watch him fulfill his father's dream of transporting the Cuban way to Canada. But step forward Vladimir Putin to cheer us all up on a gloomy Monday. And he decided to do a five hour live stream raging about seemingly everything in the world that annoyed him. It was, to be honest, pretty impressive to watch a politician talk like a normal person instead of talking to the people they're supposed to represent like they're two years old, like the Western politicians do. The whole live stream was very entertaining, it was pretty well thought out. He doesn't think Ukraine is a real country and America is just pumping it full of weaponry and installing a puppet government, which I am kind of inclined to believe is true. We've watched the war on terror unfold in the Middle East for several decades now and we saw how Afghanistan turned out. And then he brings up basically Ukraine owes him loads of money because he keeps stealing his gas. It was basically part listing off reasons why him invading the Ukraine was super cool and everything else was fake and gay and several hours of shitting on NATO we learned that Putin really fucking hates NATO. Oh, and after that speech, he signed an official document recognizing the two breakaway regions of Ukraine. Donetsk, and I don't know how to say this one, Luhansk. Oh, well, that's cool, isn't it? These places want to be independent nations anyway. What's the harm in that? No way, you mean to say this was a shady way to invade Ukraine? And after signing the document, he immediately sent Russian troops there to keep the peace and totally not take over the rest of the country. Well, that's pretty bad. Seems like the leader of the Western world, Joe Biden, is going to have to take a break from groping children and shit in his pants and answer this threat to world democracy. You would think the invasion he has been talking about for weeks and weeks would wake him from his slumber and force him to stumble out in front of the press, talk some gibberish, relieve himself and then walk into some walls after five minutes of incoherent babble. Surely this is the time for action. Well, no. Because this is Joe motherfucking Biden. And this guy doesn't do fucking anything at any point. So we got that gingerhead thought, Jen Psaki, that does most of his lying for him, to issue a press release instead. Joe Biden made his secretary write a sternly worded letter in response to Putin invading Ukraine. Well, that's put him in his place, Putin eternally blown the fuck out and owned. And in this letter, Jen circles back to list all of the totally badass punishments that's going to stop Putin from invading. Biden is going to issue an executive order to ban any American from doing business in those areas of Ukraine. Joe, I know you're a senile law pedophile, but you're supposed to be punishing Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, not your son, Hunter. It's easy to get mixed up at your age, I understand. So yeah, Joe Biden talks a good game for weeks and weeks about swift justice if Putin invades Ukraine. Putin calls his bluff, does a five hour live stream shitting on everything he doesn't like, and then invades Ukraine and Joe Biden does precisely nothing in response. Putin didn't do anything like this when Trump was in charge, did he? And as soon as this potato-ified motherfucker is in office, it's open season. But that's just a coincidence, I'm sure. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe to see more content like this. Thanks, boy.